Good morning. Uh, today we shall learn projection of solids. That uh, problem number three, a pentagonal prism. So myself, uh, Purna Chandra, assistant professor, Department of Mechanical Engineering, Global Academy of Technology. So here, pentagonal prism. So what it actually consists of? So pentagon, as you know, consists of majorly five sides. So here, the bottom portion, we have A1, B1, C1, D1, and E1. And center is O1, center point. Similarly, uh, top face, A, B, C, D, E. So totally we have uh, five sides in a pentagon. And we have a, a bottom face and a top face in a prism. So these are called lateral edges, right? So, and we have a center axis O and O1. So when you watch from top, so for us A, B, C, D, E. So this side is visible, this face is visible. And similarly, if you watch in the bottom portion, we have A1, B1, C1, D1, E1, which is not visible from the top, right? Now we shall start the problem. So we have the problem, a pentagonal prism, 25 mm sides of base and 60 mm axis length rest on HP. So in solids, all problem we have resting on HP itself. On one of its corners. So here is telling resting on its corners. So as I already said, so in solids always the resting side will be towards right side. So right side is the resting side in solids. It may be corner or side. Or edge right so draw the position of the prism when the axis is inclined to HP at 40 degree and appears to be inclined to VP at 45 degree so when it will appears to be inclined to VP so the second position what do we get we need to just rotate with respect to axis for the third position right that is here axis inclined to VP so when you tell axis appears to be inclined to VP, no bit angle method we need to do. So just we need to incline the second position with respect to the axis. Just rotate the axis and place over there. So now we shall start the problem. So pentagon prism 25 mm side. So we shall draw pentagon prism 25 mm side resting on corner. So corner should come right side. So first I will go with the line option. So first draw the pentagon here. So I need right side, I need the corner. So first I will draw a normal pentagon. Side 25, angle zero, 25, angle 72, 25, 144, 25 minus 144, 25 minus 72. So I got the pentagon. Next, what I will do, I will select this pentagon and I will try to rotate this. So with the rotate option without copy. So I want corner right side. So I will fix this point and rotate this and make it a straight line. So now I have done with it. So now we have a pentagon resting on corner. This is a resting side or edge. <laughs> okay, so now we shall do dimensioning for this. So it is 25. Now I should name this. So as you can see here, so this A1 I am taking right side. A and A1. So if you watch from top, you are able to watch A, B, C, D, E. And you are, we can't watch this A1, B1, C1, D1, E1. So when you watch from here, A visible, A1 not visible. So we shall start naming this. So we have A bracket A1. Okay, we have A bracket A1. Similarly, here we have B visible, B1 not visible. 
we have c bracket c1 and then we have d bracket d1 and then e bracket e1 so this is done but here actually we have a center axis o and o1 o visible o not visible so here where is how to locate the center here means so select line go for a projection line and try to draw two median so corner opposite side midpoint you get one median similarly one more i can take any of the corner and opposite side midpoint so now i get the center point of the pentagon now again i can name this here with the o bracket o1 so we are done with this now when you watch from top so this top pentagon is visible the bottom is not visible so here the visible part is there and hidden part is a1 b1 c1 d1 e1 so the top view of first position is done next if you watch from front you are able to watch this edge this and this three edges are visible so we shall draw the front view select projection line So project this up to here and you can zoom and select exactly the midpoint and you can place this okay now go with the visible line so given height 60 mm axis length so 60 enter enter similarly from here 60 enter enter you can join this, this, and this. And then you can join from here to here. And with the center axis, you can join from here to here. So this is done. Now I should name this. So while naming, if you watch from front, see this AA1 is visible. That's what here A A1 stands for this line. I'll just move this aside to avoid confusions. <laughs> okay. Now this corner coming here, this will be A A1. So A A1 both are visible. So that's what here A A1 is visible. So I can join this. So here comes with the dash. So A dash because it is friend to you and a1 dash both are visible here if you watch this so b b1 here b and e is visible but b1 e1 is not visible right so that how we can name this so here here if you watch from friend b b1 visible but behind b we have e e even not visible place so we shall name this so if you watch from down b and e visible so here I can write B dash bracket E dash. So here only B visible from front, E not visible. So B, B1 both are visible, E even not visible. So here I can write B1 dash bracket E1 dash. Okay. So here C, C1 visible, D, D1 not visible. So I can write C dash bracket d dash and here c1 dash bracket d1 dash and here o o1 watch from friend both are not visible right this is behind so i can write in bracket o dash and then in bracket O one dash. Now we shall try to adjust this properly.
now we shall uh, uh, do naming for this. So I'm showing the length of this is 60 mm. This is done. So the first question is done. So now we can watch this. So we have a pentagon prism resting on one of its corners. So right side we have corner. And we can project this up side 60. Okay, so now this is done. First position is done. Next, second position is told that draw the position of the prism when the axis is inclined to HP at 40 degree. So this axis should be inclined at 40 degree. Since axis is parallel to all lateral edges here. So as you can see, all lines are parallel to the center axis. So we can rotate any of this side. So we shall rotate this edge or this line for 40 degree. So how to draw that? So select center axis, a vis visible line. So try to draw a line from here for 60 mm, angle given as 40 degree. 40, that is done. So next what I can do, so I can project a line from this. So that length we can measure here. We can select distance between this to this. So we get this length 38.47. So I can and draw a line from this. So that line will be a 90 plus 40. I want a line perpendicular to this. So this is 90 and that is 40. So I have length of 38.47, angle is 90 plus 40, get less. Again, same way, 38.47, angle 90 plus 40. So while drawing what you can do, you can draw a line for 40 degree first, then can keep the protractor and draw perpendicular line like this perpendicular line and then measure this length one by one and you can cut it over there okay now if you want individual lengths so we can measure that here so we can take measurement of this length here to here So now we can take that length over there. So we can cut the arc for that length. So now the first length here we have A1. So here to here is 14.69. So we can cut 14.69. So 14.69, you can cut arc. So directly we can draw. If what I can do, I can trim one of the edge to take end point exactly. Next, length is 6.57 from here.
6.57 it can cut arc okay and again i can trim one of the end next again arc for a length of 17.2 That is the end. No need of 17.2. We got two points right now. Now we can just go with visible line and draw visible line from these points. So as you know, this length is uh, 60. I can draw 60. And I can fix that point exactly. Parallel line we can draw. Similarly, from this point, it's like this. Parallel line for length of 60 again. And we can close this. But here the second line will be the center axis. You can draw with the center axis. Now this is done here. Now I can trim this arc which we have drawn. So this is how we can draw the second position. So if you want, you can move this little bit. From the base corner, you need to move properly while moving. Now we're done with this. Now naming, we can start naming for this. So we can just go with copy and place that if you want. So move with copy. You can move like this or you can type it again if you want. So this is done. Now I'll project with a projection line this center parallelly towards this and confirm the angle as 40 degree that should be 40 degree so now this is done the second position is done so now we have pentagon resting on hp one of its corners we projected this next it is inclined to hp at 40 degree right so now what i can do is i need to project this down to get the top view in second position. So go with the projection line and start projecting this. So first project this A, A1. So first we shall project this A. So try to trim. Next, so A and A1 lie on the same line. This is done. Next, we have B and E. So we shall trim back these two. Now B is ready. B and E, the same point is coming here. And then the B1 and E1 comes back here itself. So if you want, you can name that to avoid confusion. So as I said, this is A, this is our A1, and this is B, and this is B1, and this is E, and this is E1, that is done. Next, we have C and D. So C and D will go with this point C. C and D line, we're getting here. This I can trim this. Now this D is coming here, till here. And this C and D comes here, right? 
So now we can name this. So this is point C coming here. This is C and this will be C1. And we have this D1 because D1 and D1 matches and D, D matches here, here. This is D. So if you check out, we have A, B. Here comes the C and here comes the D, E. A, B, C, D is done. A1, B1, C1, D1 and E1. Now, try to watch from top to draw the top view in second position. Right? So watch from top. So if you watch from top here, so we are able to watch. So watch from top. We are able to watch this A, B, C, D, E. That is here. This A, B, C, D, E, the top face is clearly visible. So I can join this. See, since you're watching from top, this all face are visible. So I will join this A, B, C, D, E, and join this. So this pentagon is face is clearly visible from top. And which are the other edges visible? So lateral edges, if you check out here, the C, C1, this one. Since we rotated right side, this face is visible here. This is C, C1 visible, D, D1 visible. So first we shall join this. C, C1, then this D, D1, both are visible. Next, C1, D1 is also visible. So I can join this C1, D1. Next, what about our uh, other edges? This B, B1 and E1, visible or not, check out in second position. Since it is outer edges, that should be visible. So here, the outside edges always visible. So this B, B1, E1, D1, C1, B1, and B1, B. Without any doubt, we can join this A, E, E1, E1, D1, this, this, and this, and this. Always the outer edges will be visible. So that cannot be hidden. So that is done. Now, which is the one which is not visible? So here, if you watch the down portion, corner A1 is lying on corner, right? A1. So A1 is not visible. So this since this corner is not visible, the edges connected to this corner is not visible. That is A1, E1, A1, B1 is not visible. That's what your A1, B1, A1, E1. So that should be in hidden line. So select hidden line and draw hidden line from A1, B1 and A1, E1. Similarly, one more edges A1 and A. This one is not visible. Since it's rotated right side, a1 and A came downwards, it is not visible. A1 and A, we have one projection line here. So before drawing that, what I should do, I need to trim this projection line. Otherwise, the hidden line is not visible. So first trim that projection line and then draw a hidden line from this to this. This is done. Next, we have forgotten one thing that is the center axis. So go with projection line and join this O point up to here and then one point till here right so we can name this so this is our uh, since o visible i can keep o outside here said this not completely visible so o1 is not visible i can keep this o1 directly in bracket o1 in bracket now i need to show the center axis here but center axis has been overlapped with uh, a a1 here this lateral edge, but A1 to O1 is free to show here, the center axis. So what I will do, first I will trim this and this. Then I will go with the center axis and draw center axis between A1 and O1. So only this much is center axis.
right? So this is how we can complete the second position. So now if you watch the second position here, when you watch from top A, B, C, D, E, the top face is completely visible. So we have joined A, B, C, D, E. Then if you want, you make, if you want to make your job simple, you can directly join the outer edges E1 and E, E1, D1, D1, C1, C1, B1, B1 and B, which always should be visible. That is done. Next, C1, D1 visible, we have joined that. Next for B1, B, E1 and D. So difficult to analyze in this position. So watch here. Since it's outer edge, it should be visible. Next, C, C1 visible, D, D1 visible. That, that's why we have made these two visible edges, right? So this is how the second position is done. Next, third position, what we need to do here, since he has told the axis is inclined to HP, we have done at 40 degree, that is done, and appears to be inclined, that is, axis appears to be inclined to VP, Axis appears to be inclined, appears to be inclined to it means no beta angle. What I need to do, just incline the second position with respect to axis. So what the axis we have here, O over one, I need to just incline that for an angle of 45 degree. Two VP is given 45 degree. I need to draw 45 degree, just rotate this O over one and place it here like this. Okay, since here, the base portion A1, B1, C1, D1 is at the bottom thing. Try to keep this A1, B1, C1 at bottom itself to make our job simple, right? Next, we shall draw the projection line given angle 45 degree. So draw a line for 45 degree this side. So length, I will take around 100 mm length. So angle how much? 180 plus 45. You can take as 180 plus 45 if you take positive value. So if you have doubt, you can confirm the angle first before proceeding. So that is 45 is done. So what I did, I took angle like this. 180 plus 45 I have taken. Or you can take from this side also. This is done. So just draw a line and draw 45. I'm rotating this towards this side, trying to keep O over one here, like this. Okay, so if I want, I can just uh, move a little bit on that side. Okay, so now I need to rotate this and place on this line. Since it is uh, appears no beta method here, so our job is simple, just rotate and place it exactly on this. So how to do that? What this? So while doing manually, first you can locate point O, measure O, O, O1, cut arc here. Then you need to draw perpendicular lines from this and this. Okay. Then you need to complete the pentagon on both sides. So, but in computer, our job is simple. You can select this like this. So select the complete portion. And then we can tell move with copy, select this point. Since it is directly, axis is inclined here, it appears. I can select this point O. You can place wherever you want that point O exactly on this line. Now, left click, done, then you should do right click. Once you select this, tell move with copy, select O point, move here and click left click on this line and do right click. Then you can click here and tell rotate without copy. Again, click the point O. Then click anywhere on this line, rotate and place exactly on this line. Okay, so this is how we can do. Then if you want, you can select complete portion of this 
and you can place it exactly wherever you want conveniently so this is done the third position is done but i need to show axis from o1 here so this should be axis line For this I can trim here, this and this. So if you want, you can select this length as a So I can measure this length or axis length, right? So I can trim this and I can go with the center axis line. Because I need to draw center axis here, it is 13.67 I have measured the same way. I can click. So center axis is done. Now we shall complete the problem by projecting upwards. So the last position we need to draw. So since it's resting on corner, so ultimately we need to get corner here, right? Now select line with a projection line, start projecting. So this top portion will come here. A, B, C, D, E will be coming here with dashes. A1, B1 will come here. here. So first we shall project the bottom portion. We have A1 on X, Y line. I will project this A1 till XY line. So if you want, you can name that meanwhile to avoid confusion. A1 dash is done. Right. Next, I'll project this B1, E1. So I'll go with the projection line. I'll just draw one line. Next, I'll go with B1 first, then E1 next. So try to project one by one to avoid confusion. Trim that. So then we don't need any extra projections there. So start naming B1, E1. And you won't do any mistake. Next we have this uh, uh, C1, D1. Somewhere here. So this is our C1 coming till here. Next, D1. Draw straight lines, then trim this. Then this is C1 dash, and this is D1 dash. Okay. Now we are drawn this. Now if you observe here carefully, so to draw the final front view, I need to watch from bottom. That is, the observer is available here, right? So this is the observer position. So watch from down. So watch from down here, this A1, B1, C1, D1 is completely visible, right? So what I can do, I can directly draw visible lines and join all these. So start joining A1, B1, B1, C1, C1, D1, E1, and A1. So since we know it from down, A1, B1, C1, D1, all are visible, directly I can join this, right? So this is done. This is done. Next, what I should do, we shall project the top portion. So I'll project it one by one with the projection line again. So first project this A, A dash. 
So here I should be coming till here. I will trim this. We shall start naming this firstly. So we have a dash done. Next, B and E. So this is E and this is B. Okay, I can now extend this. Yes. Then trim this. Then again, we shall name this. So this must be B dash and this is E. I have E dash. It's done. Next C and D. So point C coming here and D. So project properly. So we can just type the length here, type angle 90, so that you get exact straight line. If you're facing difficult to draw straight line, you can type the angle over there. Now, so this is C dash, and this is D dash. Okay, now we are done with this. Now we can go with a visible line. Now which are the edges visible if you consider. So one of the method is the edge which is or a corner which is nearer to the XY line in last position, the edges linked with that will be hidden. So if you watch here, E is nearer to the XY line. E point is nearer to XY line here. So ED, EA and E1 definitely will be hidden, one of the method. So otherwise, what you can do here is, so since if you watch from down, base is completely visible. So we have joined the base. Next one, what we need to do, the upper edges, lateral edges, you need to join first. That is the upper lateral edges are first visible. That is the C is at the top. So C, C1 should be visible. Then if you watch this B, B, B1 must be visible. Then this D, is towards left side, it should be visible. Then if you check out, D1, C1 should be visible, outer edges. C1, B1 should be visible, outer edge. Then if you check out this, A dash is outside. So it also should be visible. Then A, A1 is also completely outside here. So it is visible. If it was inside, it was not able to visible. <laughs> so as I said, see now, the point E is completely coming inside. So this inside portion is not visible. It is E dash D dash here, E dash D dash, E dash A dash, E dash E1 dash. These three are not visible. So select hidden line and join E dash D dash. And then E E1, okay. And we have E and B trim these two because there is a projection line then draw this okay now we are left out with one more thing that is the center axis so we shall do that and complete the problem so we have what ash so project it and project this o point o but where is point o here if it's difficult to identify the point O, so for that, what I can do, I can measure the length between this to this. It is 13.67, and I can draw one line from here, the length of 13.67 from there. Enter. So I get this point O somewhere there, right? So now I can project this. So point O coming up to here. This length is something like, uh, I will take something like a 90 and type angle 90. If you type angle 90, you get exact straight line. Now I can trim unwanted line. Oh, shit. 
how we can trim unwanted land layers. Okay, now I got this O dash. O dash, finally, it will draw O1. This you can do at the end. So project is point O1. You can type approximate length 75, angle 90, you get straight line. Now you can trim this. So this is done. Now I can show the center axis from O and O1. So you can join center axis. Okay. And you can type this here. O one is visible actually. O one dash is visible. It is visible because base is visible, but this O dash is not visible since the base is not completely visible. So keep O dash in bracket. So now this is how the projection will be made but oh we need to join to this line sorry go with projection line so oh, one line is somewhere here not that one so i'll extend this so finally i'll correct the thing So always you can zoom and we can do that. Now we shall go with center axis and join O1. So if you check out here, all lines are parallel to each other. See all lines are parallel to each other. So that's how we need to draw. So we have like this. Last position. So A1 dash, so the base completely visible and O1 dash is also visible. Next, here the top lateral edges are first visible, that is CC1 visible, BB1, DD1 visible, BP1 visible. Then check out for AA1. If it is inside, it is hidden. Since it is coming outside, so AA1 is also visible. The only one not visible is this E. Since it is not visible, it should be in bracket. So let's keep it in bracket. So now we have this E E1 as hidden. So now if you check out the pentagon prism resting on HP, one of its corner. This is resting corner. So I can just show you. So this is for your reference. So right side, one of the resting side. So this is resting corner. So pentagon resting on one of its corners and projected the front will look like this. Then, so once you rotate this, it's inclined at 40 degree to HP, then project downwards. Since A1 is not visible, try to keep A1 in bracket. This is done. Again, same way here also. So finally correct the things. So A1 is not visible, keep it in bracket. So then if you project downwards, this is visible. Since your stored axis appears to be inclined to VP, so draw 45 degree, just rotate this and keep the axis O1 exactly on this 45 degree line. Then project up and join. If it is beta angle method, so you are supposed to draw a line for 45 degree, then measure this O1 first and cut the axis length, then draw locus, then select this O1 length and cut again and find beta angle and then you are supposed to complete the problem. So this is how the problem 
is done. So try to solve this. Thank you. Myself, Purnachandra.